Hey guys, welcome back to some AFK Arena. Today we're back over on the YouTube account and we have a brand new code that came up last night around midnight. It is for the Lantern Festival, guys. Looking at our mail, I claim the rewards. We did get some um, eight hour chests. We also got a free thousand diamonds. So very, very cool just to see a little bit of additional loot in here. Now, with in, in preparation for the live stream, guys, I was going through a bunch of the teams and a bunch of the leaderboards, which I wanted to show you now. Um, figuring out exactly who we needed to build within different game modes. Now, I was leaning towards Vithiel, which I, I think I still am. Again, going through here, guys, this is really a very solid way to look at the leaderboards. Um, Obsidian Unicorn, I check out his formations all the time. Now, looking in here, guys, we have, of course, we have Grez, we have Baden, we have Solus, we have Palmer, we have Twins. So I'm pretty good on the account right there because I can borrow the version of Baden, so I can actually borrow Baden. Um, so I'm okay with this one. Now, when it comes to the Cursed Realm, it is a little bit of a different story, guys. And I know a lot of players have said this when we went through the PVP, um, is what heroes are you really missing? So in here, again, I'm really locked in building that awakened, awakened version of Baden. I built him over on the Greatborn account. So I am borrowing him. So the first team, pretty well locked in. Now, second team, Kanisa and Rook, we have built. We are missing the Awakened version of Belinda. And then, of course, we are missing the new Wilder hero. Now, when it comes to the specific four factions, because of the desired hero summons, a lot easier to get them, um, a lot easier to build them out. Now, the Awakened version of, of Belinda, of course, going to be very, very expensive. Kinesa and Rook, I just need a little bit more furniture, add some engraving, but I already do have them ascended, I believe, at this point. We don't have one star on there, but they are ascended. So even out of the second formation as a light spender, I am missing one, two, three heroes out of this formation. Now looking here, we have this built. Now ultimately, um, this formation works pretty well. I know I need to build up Nevi a little bit more, but I do have at least the heroes built. Guys, I have to add a little bit more um, furniture on Nevi. And then of course, guys, the engraving. This is the reason why I'm going to focus on building out heroes versus continuing to level as we hit this level on um, 700 mark. Now looking at this team, we have all of these heroes and we have them significantly built. So I'm happy with this team. And again, these change every single time guys within the cursed realm. But what you'll notice is a majority of the heroes that we're seeing within the cursed realm are just kind of mixed up between teams. Even some of the teams do remain the same in different game modes. But ultimately guys, what heroes are we looking for? And this was the big one. So looking 2.75 billion from Vithiel, um, absolutely incredible guys. Now that is the reason why I was saying earlier, we're gonna go in all in for him um, because he is being used in so many different game modes. Pretty much every every game mode that we see, Vithiel is being used. Um, even looking here, we have Brutus, we have Queen, we have all the other heroes. Then of course the final one is hidden. There's a couple players, you can actually turn this on and let me see if I can find um, some players that I usually, I believe you can turn on the, the very last team comp, um, just like that. So the very last team comp for Riser. big shout out to him, guys. I, I followed him for years at this point, um, but you can actually turn on the very last team comp if you want people to see it. Now, as you can see right here, guys, we have um, Rain, I have Grez, I have Scarlet, definitely have that team set. So we're missing about three heroes at this point, including one awakened hero that I cannot borrow. Um, Belinda, unfortunately through the friends list, I cannot borrow. Now looking of course at another game mode, looking at the, the um, treasure scramble. So the treasure scramble, again, we're at the 1%. Big reason for that guys is again, looking at our leaderboard. Um, there's a few key heroes that, you're, that I'm really missing in here. And looking through here guys, this is one team that I'm definitely missing, um, Vathiel. Again, I have, I, I could do some more engraving over here with Zafriel, but I have Laika built up, I have Zorath built up, I have Thane built up, but Vathiel making a big, big difference within this game mode. And this is really interesting guys, because remember, Vathiel was at the Curse Realm. We have Belinda in here. Again, the other hero that I'm really missing, that I feel like is a big, big miss. Um, really being primary in a lot of these formation teams. But as we continue through to, through here, I have this team. I have this team built up pretty well. Again, engraving pets, I'm not really super concerned about. But the other one that I feel like I'm missing, guys, is Tarnos. Now, of course, Tarnos is not being used within the Curse Realm, but Tarnos is an absolute staple in the, the um, Treasure Scramble um, in the PvP. Also seeing him used right now in the Heroes of Aspria. Um, 
PvP and the Celestial Tower, he does incredibly, incredibly well. But as you can see, guys, in my opinion, he's not worth building out at this point if you don't already have him built. Now, with that being said, um, <clears throat> even though he does have a little bit of utility, to get the full investment of a hero, even when I look, and again, this is what I've kind of been going through, um, just going back and forth, my teams, of course, this last team I'm gonna have to adjust, but the other team's doing pretty pretty well in there, um, is when we look at our Celestial Heroes, even looking at here, guys, there's a couple heroes that have kind of fallen out that are not really built like they used to be, guys. So even heroes like Morel, uh, Moriel, she used to be used for a lot. Ultimately, she can still be subbed in for some comps, but overall not really being used. Um, Titus not really being used. So if you're a player who built out some of these older heroes that we've seen, um, again, they're, they're kind of getting backseated to some of the newer heroes because of course with the power creep, it's gonna be more beneficial to build a lot of the newer heroes. But again, here, if I look at Tarnos, if I look at um, Bethiel, I would absolutely looking at the utility of the two heroes, Tarnos, again, super focused in PvP. Bethiel, Twisted Realm, Cursed Realm, PvP, Temple Rift, anywhere you really want to put him in with his build is the reason why we do want to build him out. Now, we find the exact same in here, guys. Even running down the line, you look, Mizoth really isn't used. Leofric, Zekas, not really used. Um, even Valoris, guys, we built out Valoris quite a bit to utilize in the Cursed Realm. By the time we finished out Valoris, um, she's actually not used, I don't think, in any formations anymore, which is the exact same with Audrey. We got her to um, completely built the plus 60 engraving. Um, unfortunately, short of the tower, Audrey and Valoris is not really being used anywhere anymore. Um, and we're starting to see the same with Kinesa and Rook. Now, Kinesa and Rook, I did build up already, um, have them again up to the ascended level. But Kinesa and Rook seems to be falling out of a couple formations. Even the formations where he used to be utilized, um, it seems like the new Wilder hero might be being utilized in the place. Um, same with Frampton. We built out Frampton. Frampton, again, slowly seems to be losing his place within AFK Arena. Um, again, with the power creep that we're seeing, just making a big, big difference when you build them out. So what I mean by the, when we look at like the power creep is right here, guys, we have the old school. This was the first Hypogen hero we got at 377k is the base combat power on here. Even looking at the new heroes, guys, they're at 391. So now when you extrapolate that with levels, when you extrapolate that with builds, um, and all of the percentages that we see within AFK Arena, um, this combat rating will be significantly higher. Again, just because of the power creep. It is a way that AFK Arena can replace older heroes with newer heroes because the newer heroes within AFK Arena are going to be stronger. Even looking here, guys, 389 up to 391. It, even if you go back short of the Awakened Heroes, um, you can see the power disintegration or the combat rating um, just continues to kind of go down hero to hero to hero, which again is the reason why the new heroes will always kind of dominate. The, the, the new heroes will dominate the older heroes. And of course, they get to sell and promote and really focus on building out those newer heroes. So all right, guys, so that'll do it for today's video. Just wanted to kind of cover the logic behind it. I get a lot of questions about it. Um, also, the new code is up, guys. Go ahead and grab that. Very, very cool to see. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.